Hey guys, Jason here from Old Blacks Media. Today we're going to install a winch from Open Road Four Wheel Drive. Let's open this up. Let's see what it comes with. Uh, All right, let's check it out. What's in here? Uh, some kind of magazine with a sticker. Strap. Uh, some cables. The uh, shackle or hook. The hook. Hardware. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Open Road. For the cap. And there's a wireless remote. This is a wireless winch. An actual wired remote. Oh, another wireless remote. And the winch itself, and it has synthetic lines. All right, let's install this. Let's see. There it is. This looks nice. 13,000 pounds. Synthetic lines. We'll probably uh, relocate this, or I don't know. And this is gonna be installed this way. So I might have to do some adjustments on these. Uh, make sure this one is pointing upwards. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we have to move this clutch because um, this winch. Is going to be installed like this on the ARB bumper and this clutch has to be facing upwards this way so we have to take care of that but uh, I'm gonna just remove this one real quick just to get it out of the way um, there's a five uh, it's a five mil um, Allen key right here it's just a, a bracket so I'm gonna take that off just to get it out of the way when I start rotating the winch. There's two um, bolts that holds the uh, bracket, and there you go. It's off. So now we can turn this like this and uh, we're gonna move the clutch upwards to move the clutch you have to rotate it that way so we have to loosen and take all of these uh, bolts it's a three millimeter allen key so we're just gonna loosen all of these and open it up if you're going to install the winch like this the, the orientation that it comes with you don't have to do this step but because this winch is installed on the ARB bumper like this this clutch has to be moved
I got all the bolts out and we're gonna pull it out and that's what it is so we're just gonna move it that way there you go and you just have to put all the bolts back in before we put it on in the bumper I want to show you guys the hardware so it comes with these um, square nuts and it comes with four one for each side right here so you just slide those um, square nuts in here on the winch slide that in and then there's a bolt lock washer and a washer that's gonna go in so through the AR ARB bumper and then into the winch and then that's how you lock it in place so let's put that on in the bumper right now we're going to install it into the ARB bumper uh, the bolt is gonna go in through this hole and then into the winch uh, it would really help if you have a second pair of pants to help feed the bolts in so that's what we're gonna do right now so I'm gonna light it up all right so um, we got this one inch um, square aluminum to install the fair lead so um, we're marking it right now we're gonna drill some holes to make it work with the ARB bumper because there's no um, mounting for the fair lead on the ARB bumper but anyways we're going to make make one so right now we're uh, we're marking where we're gonna drill holes the um, aluminum is going to be held by the bolt that holds the winch and at the same time it's also going to uh, hold the fair lead one thing I forgot to mention is you have to unscrew that nut so you can feed the uh, negative terminal and it's attached attach just in front of this so before putting it on the bumper attach that negative there that's negative term it's a negative terminal negative wire that goes to the battery negative battery positive right here and uh, yeah another thing is uh, I had to make a custom bracket so basically this bracket comes with it and I just attach it the other way around. It used to be facing this way, but now it's facing that way. And I added another L-shaped bracket. And this thing is sitting on top of that L-shaped bracket. And it's attached to this bracket. Normally you don't have to do this, but just because of how this um, winch is mounted into the bumper, it's a little bit weird. It's not their usual conventional um, mounting uh, I had to do that but if you're mounting this uh, the regular way then this bracket is more than enough because this box is gonna be right here so over here we're just marking the holes Alright, so here's what I got so far. I'm gonna cut it into two, and this is where. So, this is one side right here. That's for the hole on the winch. This is also for the winch, and this one is gonna be for the fair lead. And then, same thing on the other side winch, winch, fair lead.
I'm just going to stop work. So we're going to connect here where the line is. Just so we can access this part. So that's what we want. The bolt's gonna go through here and then into the bumper, holding the winch. This is gonna be holding the fair lead, and we gotta do the other side that's gonna be holding the winch to through the bumper. Alright, so this is what we got. That's going to be the bracket. Alright guys, here's the uh, bracket that we made. So on the top hole here, and then the very bottom, which is here, that's where the two bolts that's holding the winch is going to be. Uh, this one is going to sandwich the bumper. So this one, bumper, then winch, through this bolt here. And these two center holes is going to hold the Lead. So here it is. Uh, I'm painting the bracket just so it doesn't stand out. I'm painting it the uh, matte black. All right. So here's the finished product. So uh, bolt right in through this into the ARB bumper and then into the winch holds it in place and then the fair lead is going to go right here something like that okay all right so we're going to put this push it forward yeah. All right, so there's four bolts here that's holding the winch. Uh, the bracket is in place and the fair lead is mounted on the bracket that we made. Uh, I'm just gonna tighten. These are 17 mil um, bolts. So I'm just gonna tighten it up. This is what's holding the winch. And the bumper is sandwiched between the uh, bracket and the winch. Just tightening it up. And again, if you don't have ARB bumper mounting this the conventional way, then you don't have to do all of these things. So here it is. Uh, there's one bolt here. And then I'm not sure if you can see it. Maybe through the hole. There's one 17 mil there. Same thing on that side and then one down here and that's the bracket that we made holding the fair lead and the way we measured this is so that there's no hole because there's a big hole here from ARB so the fair lead is covering most of it all right so I got the uh, bumper back on the winch is on the bumper and uh, see here the control box uh, positive and negative is uh, routed in the engine bay comes out right here and you just have to put the red cable on the positive terminal of the battery and the black into the negative terminal of the battery 
All right, so this is the positive uh, cable from the winch going to the battery positive, and the negative is right here into the negative terminal. So I had it routed. Alright, so next we're going to put the hook right here. I gotta put the hook right there. So, stick off the scotter pin, slide that out, and take this, put that in between, like so, and put the uh, cotter pin back in. There you go. And I'm gonna slide this one. Open road. All right, because I pulled it out a little bit, now we're gonna uh, reel it back in. And what's nice about it is it's wireless. So we're gonna test it out. Um, I'm going to reel it back in now. There you go. Works really nice. I love that it's wireless. something from this uh, install and I uh, hope it helps you out please consider like and subscribing and uh, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next uh, video